thought. Firstly, Rich, congratulations and thank you as well for taking this role. Can you tell us why you wanted to add your sport to the campaign? I just think that, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of sort of interest in this subject at the moment, and rightly so, that, you know, there should be no discrimination towards women in, in sport or any other uh, way of life. I think that the the England women football team have sort of brought that sort of uh, big feel towards the big, the, obviously the big push towards women's football. But it's not just about women's football; it's about you know discrimination in general and about women having equal equal opportunities. And obviously, I feel quite strongly about that. I mean, you know, obviously, my wife, my mum, my daughter, myself. I think it's it's really important for everyone. So that's that's my reasoning behind it. And how proud are you now to become the first player? to become a Her Game 2 advocate? Yeah, very proud, very proud. When Obviously, when I got offered the chance, it was something that I was really keen to do. And hopefully, a lot of, a lot of other football clubs and players will come on and do the same sort of thing. Um, obviously, most clubs have got women football teams and women working within the club. Um, so I think it's really important that um, they see that from the player side as well, that, that we're all, all together and we all support it. Um, and can you, do you think, Obviously, you play for the first team, you're the main goalkeeper. Can you use your platform to push the key messages? You know, some of the stuff that you just said there. Can you use your platform to, to push them forward? Yeah, I think so. I think I think anyone can. Everyone's got a voice, and I think uh, obviously, like you say there, I'm in in a privileged position where you know I'm on social media as well, and and people sort of look at what you say and listen to what you say. So, obviously, from my point of view, yeah, I think I can use use my voice and, and the social media side to, to put messages across but I think the important thing is that everyone has a voice in, in this and that's that's the most important thing that everyone can feel comfortable having a voice. And you've said you're quite passionate about it, how important do you think these campaigns are, not just for us guys doing it here but just in general how important is it to, to get these campaigns out there? Yeah massively, again it's, um, it's a subject that's obviously like I say come, come sort of more to the forefront I think people's thinking most recently obviously coming off the back of the of the Euros I think that's that's been an incredible success and it's got people talking about women's football a lot lot more which is which is obviously rightly so but again it's it, it's, it's more than just sport it's about people and, and women having voice and having equal opportunities and I think that you know we're in 2022 it should be it should be a given but unfortunately in some circumstances it might not be so it's important that everyone has that voice to make sure that everyone's got the same rights.